psychiatrist within our price range, but no one seemed to be bothered that he had a coupon in the penny saver. Is this man going to make me eat solid foods? No, he just wants to talk to you about it. Did you tell him I have a lot to accomplish in my life and cannot afford to be killed by an unchewed sausage? Not in those exact words. Did you bring the coupon? Hey, welcome. You must be the Cooper family. We are. Rat on, rat on. This must be Sheldon. Put her there. No, thank you. Right on, right on. Okay, well, here's how I'd like to start. Mom and Dad, why don't you come talk to me first? And then Sheldon, you and I have a little rap session. Folks? Right on, right on. Feel free to read any of my comics. And you guys feel free to sit on my bean bag. Forty cents, outrageous. As fate would have it, the comic I picked up was called X-Men. Young mutants with incredible powers who were feared and misunderstood by the entire world. Hey, it's about me. Now, the thing you have to understand is, Shelley is incredibly bright. I mean, his IQ is right up there with Albert Einstein and that English wheelchair fellow. Cool. He's nine years old and he's in high school, so you can't judge him like other kids. I hear you. George, tell him about how he's always going on and on about subatomic particles and such. Oh, he'll get to gabbing about it. We're accustomed to his quirks and oddities, but this whole being afraid of solid foods thing, it's got us thrown. Okay, let me just start by saying you came to the right place. Sheldon and I happen to have a lot in common. I too was a special little boy. In the fourth grade, I was reading at a seventh grade level. And I don't have to tell you where I was by the seventh grade. Tenth. I'm gonna give the beanbag a whirl. 